I'm E3 the Beast, and this is my channel, Beats and Games. Today, I'm going to show you how to change your pads on your MPC-1. And for this tutorial, you're going to need maybe one or two tools. A screwdriver and a mini screwdriver. So let's get into it. Okay, before we get started, we got to make sure one thing is completed. We got to make sure that all power sources that's going to the NPC-1 or NPC-X or live is turned off. So we're going to hit the power shutdown button, shut it down, make sure that it goes off. All right, it's off. Then we're going to unhook the USB cord that's going to either you have it connected to your computer. You want to unhook your USB cord. You try to put it right here, it might fall. And also hook up your unhook your power cord. Make sure all your power sources is disconnected before you even starting to try to open this up. As you can see, if you can, I already put in new pads, thick gray pads for the MPC one. Um, I bought these pads from mpcstuff.com, so you can head over to them. These was were the original pads that came with it, the black thin pads. And I changed them out. So we're gonna be working backwards. So I already put the pads in. I'm just gonna show you how to open it up and how to get these things in there and what to do and what not to do. Because I made a mistake when I put these pads first in myself. So let's get into it. What you want to do is turn it on its backside, like you see here. Um, right now, I don't know if you can see, but I try to put the lighting as best as I can. On the back end, on the back side of the panel, see, this is the front, this is the back. If I switched it over, you're going to see about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 screws on the back panel side. And also we have screws. You can see if you guys can see that in the camera right there. We have screws here. One, two, three, four screws. And you five of you still got your grounding um, screw in there. So we got screws here, we got to take apart, and screws here we have to take apart on the back. This one right here is missing because that's one of the mistakes I was talking about. Before you even open this, make sure you have a container. I'm gonna use this, a container put these screws in because once you take these screws off these screws come off and they go all over the place so there is a specific way you should start I always like to start taking the screws off from this end first before I start doing this end because I made a mistake once again watch out for the mistake I made a mistake and took all these screws off and I thought I had got all these screws but I think one of these this one the small one right here was still on so I was tugging on the panel tugging on the panel and I messed up the power button and that scared me when I messed up the power button because once I put everything back together I found out it was a screw put everything back together put the pads in I couldn't power on my NPC one I had to do a lot of finagling I can't explain it, that's, that's another video, another topic all in itself. But right now, let's get into taking these screws off so we get these pads on. And also, the reason why I recommended, recommended getting two different size screwdrivers is because sometimes these screws can get stripped and it'd be very hard to take out. So having two different sizes will help you out. So let's get into it. A good rule of thumb is to take a picture of all the screw placements. Also look, I just pointed to those two things. The two things with the plastic covers so that goes over 
your in and out monitor inputs. So take those off. With this one, I'm gonna have to get my pliers. I'll be right back. Need to know multi purpose tool pliers. So, what we're gonna do here, we gotta be real gentle with this. So, like I said, you can mess up your power button before I lift this up. I'm gonna just go forward with this a little bit, try to slide it forward just a little bit. Once you start seeing this, I'm about to lift it up here and get into that right there. Let's see. And I gotta loosen it up a little bit more. So that side is the color. So what I did here, I have to grab that. It's a golden piece. Once I, I'm gonna show you inside of the NPC one. So I got it. take the back panel off so be careful like I said once we got the screw off push it up by the legs the bottom leg it should just come right off don't tug on it if you're tugging on it make sure you got all the screws out because that could be the problem wow the back panel is now exposed so I had to grab on this because I loosened this up last time this piece right here I was screwing it back in, I was trying to screw it out, and it messed it up, stripped the button. And this is also where your power, this panel is where your power supply is, and also, I want to say the hard drive is in here. This is your audio inputs and stuff right here. So you're looking at all these ribbons and wires and stuff, don't let it intimidate you. First thing you know, you don't disconnect none of these. Do not disconnect none of these wires, ribbons, or anything like that. What you will need to do is unscrew these screws right here. Not these. These. Not these either. It's these screws up here, I'm sorry. Do not unscrew this. Unscrew this. So let's get into it. Because what we're trying to get to is this right here. This is your pad center where the pads are at right here. You want to have a static cloth or anything like that. Just make sure you haven't been rubbing your feet on a rug or anything like that. So, all right, once you're very careful on how you flip this, but they're still connected to the wires and the ribbons. So this is your heat sink, like I said, power supply, maybe the processor. 
it's all right here. So just flip it gently, flip it. Don't just throw it over because you got these things, pin connectors and stuff like this. Connect it, be very gentle with this process. All right, the next process, you gotta be gentle too also because this is your pad sensor ribbon. Do not disconnect it, do not disconnect this. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take out these screws here and inside. All right, now you might be like, it's not coming up. What's going on? So before you do that, unscrew this one. Make sure do not sit it inside the screw thing. Put this on the outside right here. Now you can gently, you got the ribbon, pull this back. And with your other hand, pop this off. So right now, this is your pad sensor, right here. These golden things are your pad sensors. And this is your pad sensor, um, sensor touch. This is your pad sensor also, but this goes on top of it. So be careful, do not crack this. Do not mess it up, because this will mess up your whole day. When you putting this back in, let's say, you put these, my new pads, you put your pads in, or whatever, make sure they lined up, got them in. Always remember, the pad sensor, shiny face up towards the pads. Shiny face, towards the pads, dull face towards the board. All right, shiny face towards the pads. Make sure they line up. Put your new pads in. All right, take this, put it back, line it up with the holes. Like I said, very gentle with this. You don't want to scratch them up. You don't want to break them up. Bow. Yes. Bow. Put it on again. Put it back in. All right. Got the pads in. Let's close everything. Power test. Changed out the buttons. Let's turn it on. Scared me for a minute. <clears throat> also, by that loads up, I'm gonna load up MPC software program. Make sure the USB is working. Let's go into controller mode. Right. Let's load up a program. Let's do a um, let's do an expansion pack. Let's do Hook City. Load demo. Working. Well, that's how you change your pads on your MPC One X or Live. Just a few takeaways. Um, always take a picture of where all the screws are before you take them out. Um, you could do it with a phone take a picture where all the screws are at because um, there will be complications, especially when you're putting everything back into place. Um, off camera, I ran into that when I was putting the MPC-1 back together. I looked into my um, 
where I put the screw container, I put all the screws or, or was in, uh, and I started noticing I had more screws than I was putting in. I'm like, where are these screws going? I forgot those screws go on the um, pad bracket. Um, another takeaway, um, if you don't feel comfortable changing out the pads yourself, always seek out professional help. Um, go to mpcstuff.com. They do installation of pads and other things for your NPC. Check them out. That's where I got my pads from. And um, yeah, if you like what you saw and it very, it's very helpful, um, give me a like and subscribe. And um, be on the lookout. More is on the way. So stay tuned. I'm your man, Eat Through the Beast. This has been another Beats and Games how to video for your NPC one.